we got a bad photocell and I know I've done a video on photocell replacement before but never done this one so we'll get into all the steps of changing out a photocell and I'll show you what to do hey before we get any further right now is a perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in learning how to fix things around your home or you're a maintenance man at an apartment complex whatever it is if you want to learn things, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, hit the little bell right next to it. That way, when I drop a video, you're going to be first to be notified. So go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Did you do it? Come on. Right down there. It's easy. The red little subscribe. There you go. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. Well, I got my camera set up on a gorilla pod, so it's kind of vicariously sitting on this meter here but I'm gonna go ahead and open this panel so I'm gonna go ahead and take this inner panel out and expose this photocell so that we can wire in a new one show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna take this photocell out it's it's pretty old it looks like the sensor inside of it is messed up so I'm gonna take this panel off here and go ahead and replace the photocell. So we got the wire back here. Ah, this one's not even hooked up. <laughs> it's not that one. There's one on the bottom. Wonder why they did that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In this photo, this box here, in this electrical box, we got this photo cell here, but somebody snipped the wires on it. We got another one right here. Well, that's probably that's probably one of the reasons why that light on these build or these lights on this building are staying on. So I'm gonna have to pull that one out, and I'm gonna pull the other one out as well. What I'll do is leave the little one in there and just rewire in a, a regular size photocell on the side of the box. I'll go ahead and replace that one and use this one to control my lights. Because this is underneath and it's not getting a whole lot of light back here. You can see these woods I got behind me. All this shrubbery and everything, it's kind of letting the light, it, it's kind of restricting the light, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and Put a photo cell here, and I'll just leave this one in place to keep that hole plugged up. So what we got is three wires on the photo cell, a white, black, and a red. And the red's going to go to your lights themselves. Black being a hot leg, that's going to go to your breaker. And of course, all the whites go to neutral. So go ahead, unhook all these wires. of this old photo cell here. Turn this wire out of the way to keep that thing from turning. So 
mosquitoes are bad out here. You can see that somebody's cut the wires on that one. It's pretty rough shape. Got my new photo cell. So what you got to remember when you're buying photocells is to make sure your voltage is 120 volts here at the panel. And when you're buying a photocell, make sure you got a 120 volt photocell because there's nothing worse than having the wrong photocell. You put it in, you go through all this trouble and it doesn't work. Trust me, I've had it happen. When I first got here, we had six or eight photocells in the shop. So I had a couple of buildings that needed photocells and I just grabbed them and went and put them on. Wasn't getting light. Couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I kept looking and big trying to figure it out. I looked at the box. There were 208, 277 volt photocells. Not going to work. So make sure that you've got a 110 volt photocell to go on a 110 volt light circuit. Installing is not that bad. Like I said, you get three wires. Red, black, and white. White's your neutral. Black is your hot leg, so that's going to go to your breaker. And then the red goes to the light circuit itself, the, the wire that feeds all the lights on the building. So black's always hot. So you remember that, you'll know how to hook one of these up. Guys are doing some construction work here behind me. I don't know if you can hear them back there hollering and screaming and building some houses next door. So I've taken a nut off of this. I'm going to leave the washer because I want this to seal. I don't want water to get in or bugs or anything like that. I'm going to just go in through that hole. So make sure you're turning the breaker off when you get in here to do this. Best way to do it is take the breaker completely out if you can. Tighten that little nut on the inside. Snug it down pretty good. You want that seal to do something. Alright, we got that in. Show you what I got. Alright, got the new photo cell in place. Got the nut. Securing it. Dude, I'm trying to shoot a video here. It's the bad thing about being so close to an airport. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wire this back in. Like I said, white to neutral. It's all pretty simple from here. Get some wire nuts. Use the neutral that you were wired into. Don't drop them. here this black wire right here is my hot leg I'm sorry this black this black wire is my light circuit this is the one that goes to all the lights remember that's the red line the red wire So we'll fold those back into the panel, get them out of the way. Get your black leg up there where you can get it put back into the breaker. Secure your black leg. Make sure everything is good and tight. You don't want to have this thing shorten out on you. Burn up a breaker because you didn't tighten it up enough. 
you don't want to over tighten it and strip that screw or, or break the plastic around the breaker but you definitely want to get it tightened up all right once that's in place we can go ahead and snap the breaker back in forget to put your panel back in place, your inner cover, you need to cover all these wires up. Last thing you want to do is have some kid come along and open this door. All these exposed wires, zip, you're taking out a kid. You don't want that aggravation. Make sure that you're putting all these panels back together like they came off. And if it's missing a panel, find a panel and put it in there. If, let me show you this. If you've got one of these little tabs that's missing on here get you a piece of metal or something to screw in here and cover that blank spot up if it's open and there's nothing and there's not a breaker in that spot for one thing you're going to fail some kind of an electrical inspection and for two that's another spot for somebody to put their hand in there and touch an electrical circuit and electrocute somebody so you don't want to go through that make sure that all this is like it's supposed to be Show you what I'm talking about. There you can see how that panel, there's no missing, there's no breakers in here and all of these are in place like they're supposed to be. And that's what you want. You want these to be covered up as well as this plate being in place. I'll go ahead and put the screw back in place and this is where the 11 in one screwdriver comes in really handy. Because remember I told you before, on a lot of breakers, switches, outlets, and even these little screws on breaker panels, it's got that little square in them. And this fits. Perfect into that screw. And look, it's not going nowhere. So I got my photo cell replaced. Got everything wired back in like it's supposed to be. I'm gonna turn on the breaker. And as of right now, the lights, they may have come on just for a moment, but hopefully if our photo cell's doing its job, they should go off. Just like that. Like I said before, make sure that the photo cell you use is the right one for the voltage you have. If you've got 120 volts at your light circuit, you want to make sure that you're using a 120 volt photo cell. Because don't make the mistake I made. It's, it's not very fun. This is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. It's a beautiful day, even though it is overcast, but got a photo cell in. Lights are off. That's a good thing. We're not burning any more juice than we have to. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.